What's up? It's Jim from Techno Vault, and in this video, I'll show you the exact things that you need to know to make a very spicy top loop. Here's a loop I made with our free Hard Techno sample pack, which you can download for free, so make sure to get that. It sounds like this it's a rumble kick, acid loop, and a background. And that's cool, but imagine what happens if you add a top loop. It instantly fills up. And why a top loop is different than a normal loop, like a height loop or percussion loop, is it just has everything. Basically, let's just start with what is a top loop. So a top loop consists of different things. And the first thing being a hi-hat loop. In this hi-hat loop, you're using very tight hi-hats and those are a bit faster, like this. The second one is a cymbal loop. The cymbal loop is there to really fill up the offbeat and just include big cymbals like these. Then you want to include a percussion loop, and a percussion loop just consists of percussion and it's a very broad spectrum of things, so it all works. But let's just take this thumb loop, the offbeat, like, you know, like this. Then you want to add a clap loop. And this is just literally on the offbeat. You don't have to add this, but a clap always works and is pretty nice. You also want to add one more thing, and that is a top kick. Go to kicks and add a top kick onto this thing, and then... Final thing you can add sometimes is a background, something like this, which just helps fill up the spectrum a little bit. As you can hear, this is trash. Trash! And even if I process this, it's going to sound better, but I don't want you to have loops, you know, learn how to make techno based on loops. We want to make techno based on skills and your creative fish and everything. So in this video, I'll show you how to make all these different elements 100% from scratch. And afterwards, you'll know how to make powerful top loops like those, which instantly like fill up your spectrum. So let's start off with the hat loop. For this, I'm going to go into our techno drum loop one shot pack, and this has a lot of hi-hats. So let's just get a closed hi-hat. This works, right? We just want a simple hi-hat. Let's get into this mode. You could draw every sample into the playlist like this and then start building there. I don't want to do that because I want to save a little bit of time. So for this hi-hat, let's just fill up every two steps like this. Go into the piano roll and let's change the velocity. So for all of these, the offbeats, I'm going to go like like that. Then I duplicate it and bam, that's our first hi-hat. That's just done, right? Then I make another hi-hat. And I'm going to make this very tight. And this is just playing around like Bob Ross style, just having fun with it. And I'm going to fill every step like this. I'm going to go into piano roll. I'm going to select the off beats. So we get this like tuba 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 tuba. Then I select all these ones and just make them go like, you know, off beat. Or it really depends on how you want it, right? You could do this too. Let's loop this one. I think this works better. Duplicate it. Control A, shift, click, bam. And now we have two hi hats playing. So these two are our first hi-hats and you want to work organized. So the first thing you want to do is route these hi-hats like this right there and put them in one channel and call this hi-hats. Let's get on to the symbols. So our symbols are going to be open hi-hats. I think this one works because it's very powerful. Let's get offbeat vibe going like this and there's nothing much to this. You just add it here. Then maybe layer this hi-hat so because I don't want the generic one sample hi-hat so Let's add this to the mixer as well. We add this to the channel next to it and call this symbols. To top off the symbols, I'm going to add a ride on the first beat and on the second beat because I want to fill up the spectrum like this. Now I open up the velocity here for this ride and let's just get the off beat a little bit down because we already have those symbols. Get this in here, add this to the symbols too. Then I want to add the top kick immediately. For this, it doesn't really matter that much. You just want a kick on the one beat and you want to make sure it's tight. It doesn't have a lot of bass. Add this to a channel next to it, call it kick. Bam, separate it. Now we have kick, cymbal, and hi-hats. Now I'm going to work on the percussion and the percussion is something you can go so many routes. For example, if I take this percussion and I make it look like this, you know, where it's uh, like this and I duplicate it, we already have some sort of percussion loop. A percussion loop could be anything and you just need to have fun with it. But just remember, if you make a percussion loop, just focus on two bars or four bars and make something in here that loops well. I could duplicate this sample and put it down and then put that like here, right? And this part is going to get looped. So anything that you do with special stuff, just ha let it happen in four or two bars and then loop that part. Don't overcomplicate this. That's cool. Now let's add one more, and uh, we just add this here. That's cool. Maybe we add this one. 
yeah, we can put this on the one beat. We can put this here if we go a little bit more tribal. I'm gonna like this, so. So this is our percussion and we add all these elements to one channel in a mixer like this and we call this percussion. So for percussion, really just have fun with it, make a nice rhythm and make it just repeat itself. It's important that you just have fun with it, right? You can do any percussion. So now since we have every channel, let's add pattern one, which is hats, add the cymbals, add the top kick and add the percussion. How I quickly grab everything is control, select everything, shift, click, and I can just, you know, duplicate it like that. And then Control-Z obviously gets back to the previous step. So everything together. So now we get to the next stage. I've shown you how to create the top loops based on, you know, individual drum loops. I've shown you how to make the individual drum loops themselves right here. The next step where you really make your stuff pop and you can even develop a signature sound is where you start mixing everything. So mixing is just making everything sound good, clean up the frequency spectrum, add effects and everything. That's mixing. So for the beginners out there, control, click, and then shift control so you can get everything. Get this down. So we have main buzzes and then we can easily, you know, control the kick, hide percussion. With mixing in general, you want to keep all your sounds very low you can always add more volume but if you have a lot of sounds with a lot of volume already it gets really hard to mix you want to leave headroom that's called headroom so symbols are too much the kick is nice you want to kind of have that pop and this sounds better so the first thing i want to do is clean up everything so the percussion no bass the symbols no bass as well and then the hi-hats, no bass as well. So this is the first step of mixing that you always want to do. Like whenever you're mixing anything, get rid of those elements. Get rid of the bass where you don't want bass. So for the top kick, we do want a little bit of bass, but not the sub. Like that, that's fine. For the cymbals, the big cymbals, let's add a sidechain. So you can use kickstart, but if you don't have kickstart, just add Fruity Limiter, get a gain automation going and make it shorter. Shift click on the knob and get it down. Copy 50% and then make it just stop in the beginning like this. Now the volume is cut in the beginning. Grab this one, shift click and bam, you have. You've now sidechained this and you made room for the kick. For the hi-hats, what I want to do is create a little bit of stereo image. So this very tight one, this one, let's put that a little bit on the stereo end. So get a fruity stereo shaper at the delay. And bam, you've opened up the stereo. So for the percussion, I want to spice up the percussion and this is where it really starts getting better and better. For the percussion, you want to make this cooler with some distortion. So let's add a fruity wave shaper. And the percussion really pops in the mids. So before the distortion, let's add the bits. Now let's add one more EQ where we cut the sub again. Because as you can see, it generated a little bit of sub after we distorted everything, so. Now what I want to do is add a fruity limiter to this percussion. We're going to create another sidechain channel, automate the volume, copy 50% again, and let's make some sidechain that, you know, is a little bit tighter than the previous one, just so it really doesn't affect this channel too much. It's not a lot of sidechain. Now we have sidechain on the percussion too. And then you want to add compression. So compression is literally just grabbing a sound and making it go to a threshold. So for example, if we put this at 20 dB, it just means that in basic terms, right? It, it's more complex than that, but everything above 20 and under 20 decibels just gets pulled to the 20 decibels. It's not a limiter. It's just a very nice way to get your sounds more tight. So let's not dive into the specifics, but you know, threshold and 20 dB. Why I do 20 dB is because I read that everything just kind of, it's definitely all at 27, as you can see, but it's not really at 18. It stops there and it's 2180, so I put it at 20 because I want sounds to get pulled to that 20 range a little bit. So put the ratio on 4, it's always a nice mode and don't touch anything else. So now, kick, percussion, cymbals, hi-hats, all go into one channel right here and we call this top loop. Bam, let's give it a black color, so this icon here as well. This is where the magic happens. First, add an EQ and just get rid of lows. Just get that down. Then get the tops down. Now we're gonna add distortion. So for this, you kind of wanna use analog distortion and the issue is that not everybody has this. So you could use a wave shaper. 
which is fine, but I'm going to use Sound Toys Decapitator because this is an analog distortion plugin and you get that really vintage sound. So let's go to drums, drum fattener. like that and it's immediately like has more power so then what you want to do is go and take another eq and we're going to boost the mids a little bit like that with a dynamic eq we're going to clean up a little bit for example this frequency as you can hear that one is very prominent you can see the peaks right there Right, these, these bubbles. Let's get rid of those bubbles. And now we kind of clean this up and never add hurts to add a brick wall to get rid of the base. And then you want to add a little bit of compression. So what I like to do is Fury Compressor as I said and get this to 15 dB. But what I also really like to add is just a CLA-2A. It's from Waves. It's an analog compressor. It just really works very well. And that's because in techno, you want to get this vintage, you know, analog type sound. And that's why I like to use CLA-2A. Get the peak reduction, which is basically like the, the snappiness of everything. This one, yeah, let's tone that down. Cool. The next thing you want to do is maybe add just a little bit of OTT, not too much. Then, another EQ. And now it really comes down to your taste, like Bob Ross style. This sound is very harsh, like it's, it's this frequency. Let's get that down. And now you can go back into the decapitator and just open up the distortion. To a range that really fits you. And finally, get a fruity limiter and put this in front of like a lot of stuff. And you want to go into the threshold and add a noise gate. And this noise gate will kind of like remove the empty spaces between every sound in the loop, which cleans up the loop and makes it more tight, as you can hear. Take down the gain. So obviously, the more volume goes through this thing, the harder it gets to distort everything. So, you know, that's why I put this in front of everything because I first want to have this cleaned up and then get this distorted and through all the processing. So what you can do is, what you can do now is add EQs in front of the distortion and change the tone so much. So if I boost stuff, you get this loop if you remove it. And I think we need the mids a bit. Maybe add a little bit more distortion. And then the final spot is just for a little bit of stereo image. So I like to add a vocal doubler, get this in front of everything and just open it up a bit. We now have a pretty okay loop. Let's render this out. There you go. Here's our loop render. And the final thing I want to do on this loop render is get it in the mixture again, add a soft clipper and add an inflator. And now we're going to just squash it against 0 dB. And we can clean it up a bit maybe. We can add this top loop to our first loop that we made and let's see what happens. That's it, you made a really nice top loop. And now, if you have a free sample pack like the one we have, or any of our sample packs actually, you can actually just get the top loop. We have like literally hundreds of top loops and drum loops. And if you just drag and drop these hat loops, for example, and put those through these chains, so the highest goes there, there, and there, and then you have this final processing, you make your top loop so much easier. Because if I now just get a hat loop, just like, you know, I've shown this here. If I take this hat loop, cymbal, percussion, clap didn't happen, and this one didn't happen. So if I take all these elements, the hats go in here, the cymbals go in there, the percussion goes in here, and the kick finally goes into this channel. We have this final processing, look at this. If I want to change stuff, and just play with top loops, Different percussion. As 
clear, it gets really easy to make dope top loops. So basically, you want to do everything from scratch, get this, then get this processing like that, and then put it on top of everything that you've created here. And you have a lot of options, you know, to really easily spice up your whole techno track. And it's just a game changer for me to understand this thing. And Hope you enjoyed it. Grab this template for free on our website alongside with all our other free hard techno packs and techno packs. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe. As always, don't want to spam you too much. Thanks for watching. Cheers.